Libras. I'm working with the Mary L. Tarot deck. We have the Ouroboros in the back. This talks about the understanding and the unity between everything that is and everything that will be and we're all connected and like birth and rebirth and the understanding of mysticism and connection between one and all. It's a beautiful spiritual deck full of cultural and mystical, myth mythical symbolism that I don't know yet. I have to learn it. So welcome to this beautiful, gorgeous artwork of a deck. The whole deck is artwork. So let's talk about your general energy, Libras. We have the five of discs, your overall energy this week. Why are you feeling left out in the cold? Okay. What is in his heart? It's a beautiful landscape. It's full of growth and emotions. But he also feels like he's there alone. Why are you feeling left out in the cold, Libras? Why does your partner feel left out in the cold? This is your energy. This is your person's. This is the challenge benefit outcome. We have the Hermit here, which is the card of Virgo, but unlike most tarot decks where he's standing on top of a mountain or in a cave surrounded by ice and rock and his lantern, he is still isolating himself, yes, but he's surrounded by his emotions, not just the great abyss that is a mountain range at night. Okay, we're still talking about spiritual soul searching, but we're also talking about emotional soul searching. Okay. He feels lost. This wave, it's crashing on him, but he's holding on to his lantern with all of his might as he gets swept away without, by the flurry that is this wave of emotions. Now, Libras, when we also talk about that, look at the next card, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is always a young, flirty, happy energy. It brings messages of love, yes. But it's also the card of Pisces. And it also represents these emotions, this understanding, these two fish that swim in different directions. They're on this person's back. They're, all, they're part of his body. They're, they're his spine. They're part of his mind. But not only are they behind him, this person's back is toward you. And he's looking away from the ship that most likely is actually searching for guidance. And just like in the Pisces way, they have such depth and understanding of their emotions, yes. And that's a beautiful thing, yes. But sometimes they don't communicate with clarity what those feelings are. Maybe they don't fully understand them and they surely don't communicate them. So yes, they're available. Yes, there's emotions there. Yes, they're standing right in front of you, but their back is turned towards you and they're expecting you to what? Sense the emotions just like you do. And it is overwhelming to you. Very overwhelming. What you need, Libras, is some practicality. You're saying, bring in the earth signs. Let's sit down and have a honest, nurturing talk about where we are, and where we're going, and what we're doing, and what our plans for this week are. I need some grounding. Even though you're an earth sign. This, Libras, too much for you to handle right now. That's why you're feeling like this wave is like enveloping you because this you don't understand it you need this let's go back to the very beginning the baby native american little booties okay let's pull one idea he's pulling one little string let's pull one idea at a time and talk about it one just one let's go back to basics that's what you're feeling with your love life this week libras Back to basics, back to the beginning. Let's grow this one string at a time. Three of wands. This is a card of waiting for your ships to come in. It's a card of victory. However, I love the depiction on this card and I'm gonna forever say this. I haven't even read the book on this so I don't know if it has anything to do with it. But if you look at these wands and this snake, they're essentially crossing and covering up where the mouth would be, per se, on this being. So, just like in other tarot decks, when they talk about waiting for your ships to come in, he's standing on a cliff, 
don't take any more action, right? Don't take any more action, just wait. Patience is a virtue, your ships are coming in. It also means don't talk. Don't talk too much. Watch, analyze, okay? Again, back to basics. You're overwhelmed. You wanna talk about one, one thing at a time. Let's get clarity on one thing at a time. Okay, I don't need all these different wands and this snake all up in my business. I, like, I, I don't want to deal with that. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. That's kind of where your energy is. Maybe because you're hurt. Maybe because you're feeling lonely. What's going on in your person's life? Because they have a completely different energy, Libras. Are you overanalyzing? Maybe. Because they feel like your relationship is in a whole new phase or about to go to a whole new phase. This is a very positive card, the world. It's the last major arcana card. Ready to go to a whole new phase. This is gorgeous. This is mystical. This is bringing in layers of the sun and the night and the stars and the sacral chakra and the solar plexus and the throat chakra right? This is a gorgeous. This is waves of energy enveloping us and leading us and directing us and pulling us to something new, to some, from something old. And they're very positive about this energy. This doesn't mean the relationship is over. It can, but based on all their other energy, they don't want it to be over. We have the sun card here. The most positive card in the tarot deck. And look at this Native American. It's so Native American-esque. And then we also can see kind of Celtic symbolism here also. And Native American cultures are very spiritual oriented. The spirit world. It's a huge part of their culture. Okay. La, uh, the... The spirits are around us. They're with us. They lead us. They talk to us. They can hurt us. We have to listen to the right ones. And honestly, I'm going to take a minute to show you this, Libras. So give me a minute. If you look at this sun card, she has her eyes wide open. She's almost like a deer in headlights because it is illuminated. The answer, the pathway, is being spoken to her from the outer realm. And she's like, oh, a light bulb moment. I have the answer. I see the outcome. It's, that's why this is Leo. Leo see everything very quickly. They can see a whole relationship evolve and grow to an ending with marriage and family and children and living in this city in five minutes. Okay, very quickly illuminating where this is going to go. It's very positive. Now, if you look at the moon card, it is in direct contrast to the sun. They're looking at each other, night and day, lightness and darkness. That's why the moon card represents secrecy, unspoken. It's the card of Pisces that live in the realm of the unspoken. They feel, they don't see. They understand, they don't act. I mean, they do, but you know, high level energies here. But still again, Native American-esque energies. There's the outside spirit world that can be dangerous. There's the inside spirit world that illuminates and leads us and protects us. There's the animal spirit world that is with us here in the physical form that still guide us. We have to listen and we have to see. That's why he's pulling his eyelids down. He's trying to keep his eyes open because he has to see because it's not spoken. He has to look. Here, it's presented. It's shocking. It's beautiful. It's bright. But here, he has to force himself to look and see and find. That's why this is the card of hidden messages. Okay. Do you see the differing energy between what's going on with you and what's going on with your person? Four of Wands. Celebrations, weddings, people gathering. 
There's a firm foundation. The trunk of this tree, huge, thick, strong. It's towering. So are they envisioning your relationship as something that is firm, strong, stable, growing? You're confused about that, but they seem very clear about it. And then we also have the Ten of Wands. And if, I mean, the Ten of Cups, which is complete emotional fulfillment. And if you look at these two skeletons here, representing, basically, we're together till the end. We are together until the end. They are in love with you, Leos. They're, they're scaring you. They're in love with you. Why are you feeling left out in the cold? Are you putting yourself here? Because this is too much to handle. Challenge is the king of swords. Are you overanalyzing? Are you trying to play a chess game with their emotions? Not to be vindictive, but trying to understand. Let the emotions in because they're here. They're everywhere around the relationship and with your person. The benefit. Six of Pentacles. This is the card of equality, reciprocity, selfless giving. Beautiful. Selfless giving and selfless receiving. Allow these emotions to flow into you. You don't have to accept them all and understand them all and absorb them all. But allow them to come to you. Because it's coming from a very warm, caring, generous place. And then the outcome is a complete new beginning. The Magician. Effort. Effort into a new beginning. He's in control of what he's manifesting. You can be in control of what you're manifesting. But don't shut this down. Just be patient. You can take it one step at a time, but just realize that their emotions might just be overwhelming you a little bit, but they're really feeling them. All right? <laughs> 